What do you want? I have been a soldier all my life, but never have I seen such a dreadful turn of events. Prince Naaman? An army of undead? It's fortunate Camorin sent the Vine Dusk Rangers. Because there are simply too few Dominion troops to defend the city. Talk to the Vine Dusk. Bodring is in command here. He'll know best what needs to be done. May the gods be with you, friend. May the gods be with us all. It's ugly and getting uglier out here. As our living soldiers fall, the ranks of the dead swell. At this rate, we'll all be fighting for the other side by tomorrow's dawn. And that's not even the worst part. It's Prince Naaman. Poor old boy's been raised from the dead himself, but he's not himself. No trace of the hero Irene says he was in life. He's pure evil now, and from what we can tell, he's the one leading the undead army. I haven't a clue, and I don't have time to worry about it. We need to focus on the living, not the dead. Main Akuzri and several soldiers are stranded in the old merchant tunnel up the northern path. Think you could get to them? If you see any soldiers in need, help them out. Anyone who falls, the heretics will just raise them to fight against us. But the most important thing is getting to the main, though. He dies here. That's one more blow to the Dominion. I don't know. I haven't seen him myself, but I can't tell you how many soldiers have fled from the forest, terrified and bewildered, mumbling to themselves about Naaman. To hear them tell it, the prince, or whatever he's become, is everywhere. Not long ago, I heard Naaman was leading them. Then he died, and I heard that wasn't true, that he was a hero. Now, I don't know what in oblivion to believe. After the death of Sylvanar, the Main came to offer his condolences and his assistance to Valenwood. Then this mess started. He led a scouting patrol into the old merchant tunnels, but they got cut off. It's possible they've all been killed.
incessant clamor of the undead at the gate finally stops, and you come through the gate. It is a relief to finally see someone new from among the living. Is Akusri correct in thinking you have come to our aid? Good, very good. The tunnel is cleared then, yes? Akusri is eternally grateful. He can make it back to Marburg and send reinforcements to hold the tunnel. The far greater concern is discovering what has prompted the undead to attack. Yes, this one saw the prince with his own eyes. He is no longer Naaman, though. He has been raised and possessed by some darkness. Even so, Akuzri does not understand. The prince ordered his forces to attack, and then he disappeared. No one knows, but if destroying Marbrook were his goal, you would expect the prince to remain, yes? No, the prince planned something else, and his plans must be uncovered. You are clearly capable. I think you should undertake this task. You must consult with Indenir. He has already been considering this question. Akuzri must warn you. Indenir is very strange, even for a Bosmer. But this one has never met an elf with such understanding of nature. Come, let me introduce you. In the near, the tunnel is finally clear. Akuzri will return to Malbrook and send soldiers to reinforce this location. Yes, yes, that makes sense. Perhaps it's better if I go out into the pass and try to discover why Naaman ordered the undead to attack in the first place. Yes, both of you go. Find out what Naaman is planning and will report to Malbrook. Don't try to do all this on your own. And of course, may bright moons light your path. I appreciate the main sentiment, and the support of the Dominion, but ultimately, it falls on us to protect Valenwood. Since the Sylvanar's death, I get the sense that Queen Irene feels she owes us something, but we Bosmer are not helpless. Of course not, and I'm grateful for your assistance. It's true that I can't do this alone. I just think marching the entire army into the forest would be a mistake. Come though, we mustn't tarry. We must discover the Shade's true motivation. I don't think it's that simple. The Shade has assumed Naaman's form. It retains some of Naaman's memories, but it's a different entity now, with different motivations. The Shade is undead, so we must consult the dead to discern its intentions. Drilladun Pass is old. Many Bosma died here, and some cannot be raised by any magic. They are the accursed souls who violated the Green Pact. Come with me and we will try to commune with them. Perhaps they will know what the Shade truly plans. Oh, there are many ways. Perhaps they cut down a tree or ate berries from the local plants. Sometimes their intentions were good, but Valenwood is unforgiving. If they violate the Pact, they cannot pass from this plane. No, they are tethered to their remains and they cannot pass into death, nor can they return to life. Thus, they remain witness to all that transpires among living and dead alike, but unable to participate. Come, let us see what they know of Naaman. I've been underground too long. I can't wait to get back out into the forest. I think we're in luck. Though most of the local wildlife has fled from the undead, the torchbugs have remained. Many people do not know this, but torchbugs are among the most perceptive creatures in the forest. They're amazing. I can ask one of them to lead you to the remains of the cursed dead. 
If you can find the skulls or some such, bring them to the stone table. I will go ahead and prepare so we can commune with them. Just trust me on this. It'll work. You'll see. Let's see if I can speak to this one. Come here, little one. Yes, that would be so helpful. Thank you. Off it goes. Follow it to find the skulls and then meet me at the stone table. who were condemned, hear me. Your only hope of being released is to tell us why the dead have been risen. Ha! We need no release. The Shade of Naaman heralds a new age, an age where we will be restored, and you are the ones who will be judged. Hold on, how do you know that? Did the Shade actually tell you that? 
He doesn't have to. When the forest is transformed, who do you think will inhabit the Shadowwood? We will. Naaman does not have the power to release any of you, but I do. Help us and you'll have your chance at freedom. I'll tell you, don't listen to that fool. The Shade seeks to corrupt the forest to create a new realm. It's called the Shadow Wood. I suspected something like this. It explains what we've seen. The Shade of Naaman does not seek destruction. It seeks transformation. We need to close these shadow rifts quickly. First, though, I promise their souls release. Not easily, but I promise them. Since I will fulfill the sentence, I think you should decide whether any of them should be released. We told you what you wished to know. Little good that it will do you. But we were promised release. Please, you must release me. I shifted, which is strictly forbidden by the Green Pact. I was cocky, did it to prove that I could, that's all. It was a mistake. I understand that now. Please, I've suffered enough. It's odd to watch the slaughter of your people through the empty sockets of your own skull. My family was slaughtered by the Wood Orcs, and I burned down their village, every last structure, every last tree for revenge. I shouldn't have harmed the forest. I should have rallied my people in a morning war and feasted on my enemies. Fool, do you not see what's upon you? Look around. The shadow will consume all Tamriel and usher in a new age. An age where the dead will be redeemed and the living will suffer. The other races laugh at us. Why do we depend on them for wood we could easily take for ourselves? The Green Pact is for the weak. We are not the servants of the forest. The Green should serve us. It pains me to see the forest suffer like this. I can sense the Green itself calling out for vengeance. Glad that's done. The pleading of the condemned is almost too much to bear. One way or another, they are returned to the forest. I won't question your judgment. Their fates are decided, but the fate of Valenwood is what concerns me. These shadow rifts the Skulls mentioned, we must close them quickly. That's where the Shade's realm is bleeding into ours. I haven't quite figured that out. I can feel them, though. They feel like wounds in the forest. I have some small ability to mend the green, but it requires all of me. I'm going to need your protection. Such foul creatures in my forest will not be tolerated. I will purge this corruption from Valenwood, whatever it takes. <laughs> 